Hi, my name is Mohammad Sarwaj Jisti Sakmi and welcome to our CWTC Get Connected Community Podcast to share experiences, promote services and networking and great opportunities available for residents of Oldham. Oldham is committed to becoming a cigarette-free town by 2030 after an event was held focusing on how to make smoking a thing of the past. People who smoke, it's not often easy for them to quit, but with the, the, with the right advice and support, any smoker can do it. To help us how we can quit smoking and get the right advice and support, we have an expert in our CWTC podcast studio, Lorraine Greathead, Smoking Cessation Project Lead from Your Health, which is part of ABL Health Limited. Lorraine, welcome to the studio. Thank you. Thank How you are you today? Me. I'm good, thank you. You've reported already it's raining outside. It is. It's a lovely rainy day in Oldham. <laughs> yes, it we, we do rainy days well in Oldham, don't we? Uh, I could hear singing in the rain. <laughs> Absolutely, <laughs> that was me. <laughs> good voice. <laughs> Lorraine, tell our uh, viewers and listeners uh, about yourself and your career. Okay, um, so my name's Lorraine Greatshead. Um I have worked all of my adult life in the NHS, uh-huh. mostly in GP practices, um, health promotion, medical audit, clinical governance. Um, right. And I got into um, the world of smoking cessation actually as a smoker. I was okay. back then. Okay. Um, and I fell in love with it. And sure. uh, I've been here in Oldham for the last 18 years as a specialist stop smoking practitioner and I have been project lead for the Stop Smoking Service here in Oldham, run by Your Health Oldham for just over a year now. Wonderful. And with your uh, experience, you're going to help many. And I'm sure you've helped many as well. Absolutely, yes. So uh, smoking is a big subject. It Uh, is, yes. Smoking uh, is the biggest cause of ill health and death worldwide. Right. And um, tobacco is the only consumable product that if used exactly as intended, Mm -hmm. exactly as sold, Mm -hmm. it will kill one in every two people who use it. Goodness me. Wow. Yeah, it's shocking. And that's why I I do the job that I do. And we need to learn from this. And with your good advice today, hopefully our listeners and viewers will pick up some great points from you. So um, tell tell me uh, what encourages people to think that they could quit if they want to? Um, Well, people start smoking, mainly a lot of people through peer pressure. Um, Uh A lot of people smoked for most, if not all, of their adult life. Um, Mm. And back then when they started smoking, it was very much the norm. Most people Mm. smoked. Um, So they got into smoking because everybody did it. Um, peer pressure has always been around and never more so than than in today's world Mm. Um, but I think people start thinking about wanting to quit Mm. I do believe that the one thing that stops them trying is the word fear they're they're scared of of stopping they don't think they can stop Um, so fear stops them and that's where we come in Mm. Um, but when once they start thinking, mm, I wish I could quit. Yes. That's when they, they've had that penny drop moment, and mm. then hopefully they would come to us then. Yes. And my my advice would be, don't do it on your own. No. You don't need to do this on your the own. Support available. Absolutely. So we know the best way to quit smoking is with treatment and mm. support, Certainly. and that's free on the NHS, Certainly. provided in Oldham by ourselves. Yeah. You know, talking about having a will to quit it, um, you must have experienced this um, as Muslims when we fast in Ramadan. Yes. Uh, we stop it, don't we? We have to stop. Yes. So uh, that uh, fear mm. or commitment, I would say, mm. uh, people do it, they have to do it. Mm. Why can't they do it ordinarily? They they usually do quite well during the fast. Yes. It's what they break the fast with. And uh, if you're a smoker, quite yeah. often you break your fast with a cigarette. Right. Um, so we, we do um, usually run a Ramadan campaign um, and we try and um, encourage and support people um, 
before they start Ramadan to to come to us and uh, quit smoking Excellent. so that they can sail Excellent. through Ramadan a lot easier. That's a great idea. And uh, I want to be more, uh, will it not be more harmful if they actually smoke on an empty stomach? After so many hours not eating it. Smoking, smoking. So yes, yes. It, it doesn't matter if it's an empty yeah. stomach or a yeah, full yeah. stomach, you're still taking in over 4,000 toxins yeah, um, with every cigarette you smoke. Yes. Um, cigarette smoke uh, contains mainly three components. Okay. So tar is one of the killing components. Mm -hmm. Tar is the cancer-causing part of the cigarette. Right. And the tar that you get from a cigarette mm -hmm. is exactly the same tar as underneath the roads. There is goodness. no difference. It's, well, it's highly carcinogenic. Yeah. It's just in a vapour form. Mm. Then the second component is carbon monoxide. Mm. And that gas you take in um, through the combustion of the yes. cigarette. And the carbon monoxide replaces the oxygen in the blood. And it makes the blood thicker and stickier. So that's the component that leads to heart attacks and strokes. Mm. Then our third component is nicotine. And nicotine is highly, highly addictive. However, it's not the killing component in tobacco smoke. It's the tar and the carbon monoxide that are two, the two killing components. Uh, whatever the condition has brought onto themselves and whatever has caused, caused to come to that stage, we don't wish that to anybody uh, but for them to know that the sport is available and good services from your yourself and the Oldham Council mm -hmm. and it, it's actually never too late to never quit. Too late, it's never too late absolutely. to quit even if you already have a smoking related disease mm. you, the benefits you gain from quitting at any point is huge it's well huge. you improve your health and your uh, healthy lifestyle as well. absolutely um, I mean uh, yeah carbon monoxide um, leaves the body within 24 hours. So 24 hours after your last cigarette, mm. um, you have no carbon monoxide in your body. So already you, your body starts repairing and recovering as soon as you put that last cigarette out. But the body is very faithful to you, provided you are faithful to the body. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, before we uh, start getting to the sport and the advice, um, if the people want to commit to an action, what are the steps they can do? Okay, so we do. We are a stop smoking service. Okay. So we do ask um, our clients, patients to commit to a total quit. Hmm. Um, and that's because there's no halfway house with smoking. There's no safe limit. Yeah. Um, you're a smoker or hmm. you're a non-smoker. Sure. Um, so we do ask people to, to commit to that total quit. Yeah. And they can, they can come to us by contacting our office our telephone number is 0161 960 um, if they don't have that number they can contact their GP who will give them that number so we work very close with the GPs in Oldham excellent when people are at such a stage uh, where they have to be admitted to the hospital what support can they expect to receive Okay, so we're the community stop smoking service here in Oldham mm. and the hospital has um, their expert um, stop, sm stop smoking practitioners in mm. the hospital. They're called the cure team. Yeah. So if you're admitted to hospital and you are a smoker, mm. you'll be visited by one of the lovely team uh, from the cure team. And we work quite closely with the cure team. Brilliant. We do events together yeah. um, and so you in hospital, you will be looked after by those. And then on discharge, your programme will continue and move over to, to us. Mm. So the Cure team will send a referral across to the community, Stop Smoking Service, i.e. us, and we will take your care over and continue with your programme from there. That is a fantastic programme of work available to people. And uh, all they got to do is commit to it and uh, get themselves treated. You commit to that, not a single puff rule. And people think, um, that's really hard. How can mm. you do that? Mm. I've smoked for 50 years. I couldn't just stop like that. Surely I need yeah. to cut down. Yeah. But actually, um, we now know that the easiest way, mm. I, I always call it the sticking plaster scenario. Mm. So if you pull that plaster off very slowly, it hurts for a long time. Yeah. So if you're like trying to cut down, it, it, 
you're kind of putting all this work in and actually not achieving anything. Yeah, yeah. So rip the plaster off in one <laughs> go. Yeah. Yes, it hurts for a moment, hmm. but it's done. You are smoke free straight away. So we ask people to set a quit date and then you're not going to do it on your own. We no. are going to support you with treatment and yeah. support. So, um, but that is the best way to do it. And the most effective is to go for that not single puff rule from day one. Brilliant, brilliant. You know, just uh, go back a little, we mentioned about the vape. vape. Um, and some people think, well, smoking a cigarette uh, is more dangerous or less dangerous than using VAP. Can you tell us the differences there? Okay, so we, we work with um, clients who smoke and we work with clients who vape. Um, mm. So the smokers who want to quit smoking um, and we do encourage them um, if, if they feel that it would be easier to quit smoking by using a vape, mm. then we really encourage them to do so. Mm. What we do say is um, in Oldham, the part of our service, we don't unfortunately give out vapes currently. However, we would encourage people to go to a vape shop, a reputable vape shop, and purchase a vape. Mm. Um, if you are a smoker, it is much, much better to, to use a vape and become smoke-free than to continue smoking. Mm. Vapes do not contain carbon monoxide. Vapes do not contain tar. Mm. And remember, they're the two killing components. And you are already addicted to nicotine as a smoker. Mm. Mm. So if by using a vape, it helps you to become smoke free, we usually encourage that. Um, there are lots of myths out there about vapes. Um, vaping is not more harmful than, than smoking. Okay. Smoking is a killer. And right. for, for every one hospital admission that is only linked not a direct cause of vaping only linked to vaping there are a thousand smokers admitted to hospital for really? every one that mm. is a vapor mm. so it is it is much much safer um to use a vape to become smoke free than to continue smoking however the other message is if you don't smoke don't vape why would you create a new addiction? Yes. It is a highly, highly addictive substance. Um, and it's not totally harmless, but it doesn't contain tar, it doesn't contain carbon monoxide, and they are the two killing components. Well, there you are. You know, you only get life once. Treat it with love and uh, care. Absolutely. Uh, we know that smoking during pregnancy is harmful. Uh, Tell us what impact it has on the mother, baby, and, and of course, your partner and, and your family surrounded. Yeah, yep. Yeah. So in Royal Oldham, there is a dedicated pregnancy stop smoking service, okay. um, and they look after most of the pregnant ladies in Oldham. Mm -hmm. However, if the pregnant lady prefers to come through the community stop smoking service, mm -hmm. so our stop, uh, Your Health Oldham, we support them to do so. It's hugely important that a pregnant lady um, quit smoking. Um, yes. it, it puts a lot of pressure um, on the placenta. The placenta is um, a temporary organ that is designed to last for nine months to, to while the baby grows. And the amount of carbon monoxide that mum takes in mm. is double that goes through to baby, through the umbilical cord, um, through the placenta to baby. Mm. And what, what we know from the pregnancy service is it has a huge impact on mm. the amount of oxygen that reaches that baby. Um, Could be life threatening. It, it very much is, is life threatening. I wasn't aware that when a placenta is delivered, you can tell straight away if that mum has been a smoker or not. The, the placenta has death of tissue. You can see quite clearly death of tissue oh um, from, from the carbon monoxide and mm. all the toxins that go through that placenta. Mm. So you're putting that placenta um, under pressure and it's equivalent to someone squeezing the umbilical cord for the whole nine months. Wow. Um, but pregnant ladies struggle yes. because yes. they, in actual fact, there's some science. So a, a pregnant lady, um, they metabolize the nicotine a lot faster 
once they're pregnant. So right. they feel that they need more cigarettes. Goodness. So they're trying to cut down, they're trying to stop, mm. and yet the need mm. is more and more. Yeah. Um, so by coming through the service, they yeah. can get on the right treatment and we give the high enough treatment. So they get the nicotine that they need to be able to do the program to reduce, but they're not taking in the carbon monoxide and the tar. So it's much safer and, and they can become smoke free well before they deliver. Hi, Lauren. Uh, lots of um, experience and uh, knowledge there that you have and uh, you're doing a wonderful job to Thank get you. the message out to people. We love and what we do. As we were discussing earlier, uh, the way we can support as well as an organisation is to work with you, particularly uh, with those people who don't understand English mm -hmm. and to be able to translate some of these uh, knowledge that you have and the guidance that you have. and. Uh, we will do a lot more of these in the future. Yeah, yeah, please do. In terms of what uh, you're mentioning about the, the different um, places that you can get support from, uh, or yourself, the Oldham Council website, there, there are numbers there. You can approach the pharmacy, a GP, as you said. And there, there's also the uh, Smoke Free app as well. Um, the NHS do a smoke free app that yeah. you can, um, yeah, you, if you just Google stop smoking services, you, okay. you put your postcode in and they tell you where your local stop smoking service is. Thank you. And you mentioned a few times how to get in contact with you. Mm -hmm. So there's a number there. So uh, people just need to phone up and uh, register yeah. themselves. Yeah, yeah. You can, anyone can refer you or you can refer yourself. Um, contact the office, you can email us, you can go on our website and refer yourself through the website. Um, yeah, just come to us. Thank you so much. Anything else you would like to add? Um, I think the, the main reason that people fail when they try to quit smoking mm. um, is that they don't use enough nicotine replacement therapy enough products mm. and they don't use it for long enough so if you've ever had a quit attempt and it's not worked for whatever reason or if it has worked you've quit smoking for a while and then life's got in the way and for whatever reason you found mm. yourself back smoking then we have an open door policy we Brilliant. love to people to come back yes. um so people don't tend to quit every time the first time it can take some people up to 30 quit attempts so we say never stop trying to stop and um, yes. come back to us we are a team of six highly highly trained specialist stop smoking practitioners we are all passionate about the job that we do we have face-to-face -face clinics all over Oldham and we have telephone support as well so come back we we always say our job is so much more than quitting smoking Brilliant. you quit smoking it gives you the confidence to think right what's the next challenge what else can i achieve that i never thought i could achieve so it, it just opens doors it changes lives and that's why we do the job that we do well, uh, we can see the passion and the commitment that you offer as a team. And that's wonderful. We certainly be assigned posting lots of people to you. And uh, you don't have to be a smoker uh, to understand the impact of things. You can support other people that you know. And I'm sure uh, between us, uh, we'll be getting that message out. What do you think our media department and the uh, community podcast here? I think it's great. I think it's great. It's, it's about... You know, getting these healthy messages yes. out to people. Um, the worst thing for me is that people, there's some smokers somewhere in Oldham that don't know we exist. Yes. And, and my job is to get out and speak to as many people as would listen to me. As you can see, I can talk about my job <laughs> all day long because I absolutely <laughs> love it. Yeah. Um, and it is about choice. Yes. It's not always the right time, but think about it. And when you're ready, come and come to us refer yourself get referred um you never know this time you might just do it and completely change your life wonderful and we will do our best to promote your service and Thank your good you work so much and uh and i hope you've uh, picked up a few things uh from lauren as well please do get in touch there will be a, a number available after the video thank you for joining us joining us and god bless and take care of yourself and others Bye bye